What is the difference between SPSS and Stata? If you're working with data and trying to decide between SPSS and Stata, you're probably wondering what sets these two statistical software tools apart. Let's break it down to help you make the best choice for your needs. First off, both SPSS and Stata are powerful tools for statistical analysis, but they serve different purposes and have distinct features. SPSS, or Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, is particularly strong in handling complex data analysis, especially in fields like medical and social sciences. It's great for modeling very complex data and performing multivariant analysis procedures on large data sets. On the other hand, Stata is more versatile and widely used in various fields, including econometrics, social sciences, and medical research. It's known for its robust data manipulation features and advanced statistical methods, such as time series analysis, survival analysis, and panel data analysis. When it comes to user interface, SPSS is generally more user-friendly, especially for beginners. It has menus and dialog boxes that make it easy to navigate and perform analyses without needing prior programming experience. Stata, however, relies more on a command-based syntax, which can be a bit steeper for new users to learn. In terms of data management, both tools are powerful, but they differ in their approaches. SPSS has a spreadsheet-like data editor that simplifies data cleaning, variable transformation, and dataset merging. Stata is renowned for its robust data manipulation features, allowing users to handle missing data, restructure datasets, and add new variables efficiently. For statistical analysis, SBSS offers a wide range of techniques, including descriptive statistics, correlation analysis, t-tests, ANOVA, and regression analysis. Stater excels in more advanced modeling, such as latent class analysis, endogeneity, spatial R models, and mixed logit models. Graphics and visualization are also important aspects. SBSS allows users to create basic graphs like scatter plots, histograms, and bar charts. Stata, however, provides more advanced data visualization features, including interactive visuals, heat maps, and complex plotting options. When it comes to programming and automation, Stata stands out. It allows users to create scripts and automate repetitive processes more easily due to its command-based syntax. SBSS also has a scripting language, but it's not as robust as Stata's. Output and reporting are crucial for any analysis. SBSS generates output files that are easy to interpret and export to other formats like Word or Excel. Stata offers more flexibility in customizing output and generating publication quality reports. Pricing and licensing differ as well. SBSS offers various versions, including subscription-based solutions, while Stata uses a perpetual licensing structure where you buy a license for a particular version. Finally, community and support are important considerations. Both tools have vibrant user communities, but Stata's community is often more active and helpful, especially in academic circles. So, if you need to handle complex data and prefer a more intuitive interface, SBSS might be the way to go. If you're looking for advanced statistical methods and robust data manipulation with a strong command-based syntax, Stata is your best bet.